Stuart Harpen, the, the <laughs> owner of Adonis Art in London. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, hi. So how long have you been here, Stuart? Uh, we opened in this particular building in September 1995. So 16 years ago, virtually to the day. What gave you the inspiration to open? Well, I'd actually had this business for a year prior to that. <laughs> yes. And I'd been uh, selling in the Antiquarius Antiques Arcade in Chelsea before, before this. But I actually got the idea on a holiday to Egypt. Uh -huh. When I was, um, it's, a, it's a long, complicated story, but it involved me suddenly thinking how beautiful men were and uh, how wonderful it would be to deal in the male form in art. So that's how it started. Well, I mean, I saw you online originally and I came to London looking for Adonis Art in Earl's Court from that. Oh, right. Okay. Few, yeah. Well, I had, a, I had a, my website, I, I was a very early adopter and I had a website by about 1997, 1998. Yes. And, um, and in fact, the web is, has become the most important tool in the sale of paintings. This is a very small market. There are very few people, very few collectors of the male form. And in fact, there are only about three commercial galleries in the world that deal with the male form. In and you're linked to those, aren't you, as well? I am linked to them, and I'm the biggest of them. I'm the biggest commercial dealer in the world yes. in male art. Um, uh, and so and it's a difficult job. What do, you look, what do you look for? Well, I have a slightly different approach from... Well, we all, all the galleries have different approaches. My approach is I, I look for the male form in art, for the strength, art that expresses the strength and beauty of a yeah. male figure. Yes. Essentially, that's what I'm interested in. Whereas, for instance, in the Leslie Lohm Gallery in New York, they look exquisitely for gay art, which is often much more sexualised than the art that I sell, although I do sell some sexualised art, you know, it's not a mutually exclusive, yes. but their, their emphasis tends to be on more sexualised work, and um, whereas mine is more on the figure, you and uh, yeah. mine is more figurative and decorative. You seem to go through every range, don't you, because you have the photorealistic sort of painters and then the, the more abstract. Yeah, but there's a limit to how much abstract there can be uh, in the male form. You hit a certain level of abstraction and it ceases to be of interest. Yes. So I do tend to be mainly um, representational you know, and a little bit cubist, a little bit whatever, you know, but yeah. not, not, not really so. How did you, um, uh, do you uh, work with, uh, with certain artists? I have a number of artists who I give regular shows to. Yes. I'm always looking for new artists. I found a couple recently in Russia yes. and I hope to be able to give them an exhibition yeah, shortly. But does, that there are you, does, does that give you a trip over to Russia? No, it, well it could do, but I don't think it's going to. Yes. Uh, who knows where it will go in the future, but uh, it's going to, uh, uh, if it works out, then it'll be a good show because there are some very good artists over there. And of course it, Russia is still not a very uh, gay friendly society, yes. there's still a lot of prejudice, so it's very difficult to exhibit gay art or male art in Russia, uh -huh. so therefore you know, they contact me and see that I can do it here. But there are some exceptionally good artists. How did you pick up Mr McCarthy's work originally? Uh, because he came to see me. Yes. When he had, uh, there was a gallery before mine in London called the St Jude's Gallery, which went out of business in 1993. Uh -huh. uh, two years before I started my business. Yes. I managed to get some publicity when I started my business and Cornelius uh -huh. led the publicity and came to see me straight away. So that's how it happened. Yeah. So this exhibition is in September 2011. Yeah. And how long, is, how long is it on for? This is on until the 1st of October. Yes. So for the whole month. And then who's coming in after this? Uh, then after that will be a mixed exhibition of two artists, George Cayford and Martin Ireland. Uh -huh. And then we have another artist called Miles Anthony up until Christmas. Right. Thank you very much, Stuart. All right, thank you.
It's the 6th of September 2011 and uh, we're at Adonis Art in London and it's the, the opening night of whose artwork is it? Cornelius McCarthy. And you were his partner? I was, yes. So how long was Cornelius uh, painting for? Um, I first met him in 1956 when he was painting. We became partners in 1960. Yes. And he died in 2009. Yeah. Um, and he was painting all the time. Did, did, he, did he talk a lot to you about his art? No. Uh -huh. No, he just uh, disappeared into the studio yes. and painted. And uh, I kept him fed with coffee and food. <laughs> and, um, an occasional romp in the bed. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Hmm? What's Alec. your name? Alec. Okay, thank you, Alec. Um, we had lots of holidays together, well, every time, every year. Yes. It was always to look at pictures. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else. His death was so sudden that everybody who knew him was shocked. Yeah. It, it, uh, the, the night before, we were helping another friend um, who was just, uh, had just written an essay on law. Uh -huh. to a course in law and she wasn't too sure about her spelling so she brought it to us and said would we yes. cope and uh, we did she went off and we sat and he was reading listening to music and we both went to bed in our separate rooms and when I heard a thud about four in the morning I thought he was downstairs but he wasn't he collapsed in his bedroom Crikey. Um, and I went in course to see and asked him if he was in pain and he said no and do you want to go back to bed yes but he couldn't he couldn't hold up he he, um, he got on all fours and he said I, I, I can't hold this and just fell over yeah um, and then after a while he said I think you'd better call an ambulance I had no idea I thought at first that he had a heart attack but when I said are oh, you in pain he said no I knew it wasn't a heart attack uh -huh. oh. um, and I went out to uh, to um, call the ambulance um, and the person at the other end taking the call said uh, don't move him and leave your front door open so that the paramedics can get in and I said right and when I went back he was dead Gosh. Um, it's absolutely horrendous so the um, what was the cause? autopsy um, showed um, Black clots in the lungs. Oh, he he suffocated. How did you meet him? Oh, well, I was working in the uh, uh, library department, Step New Borough Council, yeah. uh, in the reference library. Yeah. And he had just joined the staff as a librarian, not a painter. Uh -huh. And uh, the senior assistant <laughs> in charge was wheeled him into me and said, uh, Can you look after Mr. McCarthy for the day or a couple of days? Um, and I said yes, so take him on and show him the ropes. Um, and we got on so well in that short time. At the end of that, that week that he came, I went on holiday to Paris yes. for a uh, fortnight. And uh, when I came back, he said, oh, we'd have a good time. And we, that was it, we started off. Yeah. It was a, it was a friendship from the start. So how did you put the sig uh, get the signals across? Because it was a difficult, difficult time to be gay during that. I'm sorry? How did, how did you put the signals across to each other? Because it was a difficult time to be gauging that period, wasn't it? Uh, in general. He asked me at um, <laughs> one point um, if he could paint my portrait. Yes. But of course, as we're both working, it had to be done when we were both off duty. Yeah. Because we were on a rotor system. Um, and that turned out to be Monday evenings. Yeah. So he came to my house my parents' house on Monday evenings uh -huh. and painted my portrait. Yeah. And in the course of that, um, I realised I was getting more, more fond of him than, than uh, warranted. Yeah. Uh, and actually came out and said, you know, that, um, I, I don't want to shock him or anything. And, uh, but um, 
I didn't use the word gay, I think he said homosexual. And he said, uh, oh, well that makes two of us. <laughs> So um, how long did it take you? Be, uh, how long did you know him before uh, you uh, uh, told him that you were gay? Uh, we've known each other about four years. Yes. Um, so it's quite a long. It was a long time. Yeah. But at that moment, when when uh, when we both came out to each other, um, I said, you know, in the situation that we're in, we could be of great use to each other, great help to each other. Yeah. Um, if you have any problems, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And he said, yes, okay, we'll, we'll give it a try. Yeah. And that was it. We gave it a try and it lasted 49 years. What sort of style of, uh, does he oh. tend to paint in? Oh, he was, he was doing... Um, well, you'll see some of it downstairs, especially in some of the drawings. Um, but he hadn't really developed the... Was it almost Cubism? Yeah, he hadn't developed that yeah. then. Um, and there were a number of religious paintings which I still got at home. No, the, this this sort of painting that he does that he was doing now um, didn't develop until I think the middle sixties. Yeah, the male nudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the the style, um, not until after he'd seen the big Picasso exhibition at the Tate Gallery about that time. Yeah. And that was, that was like a, I don't know, a catalyst. Yeah. Brought everything together for him. So how long has he been uh, showing, or how, or how long has he had his work shown at Adonis Art? Two days or more. Yeah. Um, I can't remember, but Stuart would be able to show you that. Yeah. Um, I think there was an exhibition on here yes. during the week that he died. Uh -huh. um, he'd just been up here to the exhibition, open the exhibition, uh, which would have been the beginning of November. Yeah. And he died on the 19th. Was this last year or the year before? Two years. Two years ago. Two years ago. I seem to remember that. 2009. Yeah. Um, and I think that would have been the sixth exhibition. So he only had one every two years. Yes. That would be 12 years. Was it only at Adonis Art or has he shown it? No, he didn't have it anywhere else. Yeah. Well, no, that's not really true. Um, th there were exhibitions um, at an art called Neumann in Groningen in Holland. Yes. Um, and they had... Uh, How long ago was that? Oh. No, he was the one who got in touch with them. That would have been about six, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, and they just took a collection of pictures back with them uh -huh. to Holland and uh, they've exhibited them from time to time yeah. ever since. They're almost on permanent display in Holland, uh -huh. uh, those that, he's got, that they've got. Uh, oh, I see. Yes, there, there was a. They have to have them on permanent display because every so often I get a note from them yes. saying we have just lodged so much money in your bank account. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, picture. tremendous! Yeah, so there's a uh, bit of money. Um, is, it, is it in like a, t a trust sort of thing? Or Sorry. Is the money in like a trust? No, no, it comes directly to me. Uh -huh. um, cool. It would go into a trust after my death. Yes. Um, my solicitor is actually working on it at the moment. Yes. Uh, when anything that comes in after that uh, goes to one of the three charities that we nominated in our wills. Yeah. Um, one to an age charity, another to um, a hospital which looked after one of our friends when they died of AIDS. Yes. And an animal uh -huh. trust. Uh, in memory of our dog, we had a dog. Um, uh -huh. Uh, and we lost after a long time. And uh, the animal charity, the dog charity, will, will um, benefit from uh, that. Yeah. I think that's about it. Right. Thank you very much, Alex. Very welcome. Thank you.
So what's your name? Peter, Peter Dobson. And uh, I hear that you're going to be writing a biography on I am writing a biography, yes. So um, how did you get involved in that? Um, well, I've known uh, Colin Alec since the 60s, the 1960s. Yes. Uh, but in 2007, Con and I um, collaborated on a book about his pictures, which was published by the Adonis Gallery. Right. Uh, and since then, I've written pieces here and there. Was that uh, sold through the Gay Men's Press as well? Or Sorry? Was that uh, sold through the Gay Men's Press as well? Or Sorry, uh, I can't hear what you're saying. Sorry, who's the publisher? Who's Adonis Gallery. Adonis Gallery. And, and, uh, it was, was published in 2007. And did it go international? Or? No, no, uh -huh. no, no. It was sold mostly through the gallery. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then last year when we had the memorial exhibition, Stuart wanted um, a printed catalogue with illustrations and I wrote the biographical text for that. Yes. So uh, I started the biography, well the research for the biography, very soon after Con died. Um, and I've got a lot of material now, and I've started writing the text. Yeah, is that, is that going to be printed through Adonis Art as well? No, it's another gallery. Right, is, can you name the gallery? I can. Right. Do you want me to? Yes, please. Um, it's the Moman Gallery in Groningen in the Netherlands. Right. So they're going to be published. Will they be having some of his work over there at the same time? Oh, yes, yes. Um, They've already got some of his work. Yes. Cornelius approached them, I think, in 2009. Yes. And initially they exhibited drawings and graphic work. Yes. And then uh, in 2010, they had an exhibition with a joint exhibition with Nabojsha Sadravnevich. Yeah. Who's also an exhibitor here. Um, Beauty Without Borders, it was a beautiful exhibition. Yeah. Um, and they had a lot of very fine paintings of Tom's. The, whereabouts is the gallery in the Netherlands? Right, Groningen, right up in the north. Right. 
Is that an exclusively gay, uh, gay gallery? Um, I'm not sure they describe it as gay. It's um, Moeman, the, the Dutch name of the gallery, it means beautiful man. Yes. So yes, they specialise. So it's almost like the name of Donald some, of, really, some, of the, some of the work, it's not just uh, paintings, it's also sculpture yes. uh, and in small installations. Uh -huh. um, they have a male theme. Yes. Yes. But some of it's quite abstract. Have you got a website? Oh yes. Can you just name the website? Well yes, it's www.moemangallery.com NL, yes, yes, yes. yes. Right, thanks a lot for that anyway. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>
sexual yes. talk, you know? Uh -huh. All the while it was burning inside him. Uh -huh. mm. When we came out of the Air Force, we got together. Uh, I was quite close friends again. We used to go out sketching weekends and uh, uh, holidays and um, eventually came out. It was about 19, early 1960. Right. Uh, that's when it came out. He obviously made up his mind. That's, that's yeah, his there's quite a brave thing to come out to an old friend that you're gay because I'm, I mean, I, 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 when, I, when, I was, when I was in the Air Force for 12 years, I was too scared to. I got very close to people, but I never crossed the line. Because he knew I was. Yes. He knew what I was up to. I was yes. playing the field uh, at cracking. that time. Yeah. And um, in fact, he did portraits of all, all my uh, boyfriends. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, it, sometimes it seems to have been a lot more bohemian uh, after the war no, than, yes, than, than yeah. what it became afterwards. Yeah. So it's uh, it, I've heard it, of all it sorts became of, sorts of a sticky stories. business when he when he found out that he was gay. He yes. wanted to attach himself to me. Did he try and go into denial? Huh? Did he try and go in denial with his sexuality at any stage? I, I don't. Think I think it was that, he just kept quiet about it, really. yes. and he didn't, didn't want to discuss himself. In, in, of course, I discussed myself with him all the time, yes. but he didn't sort of respond to that. Yeah, is that what you were hoping, that he would respond yeah. at the time? Well, at, at, later, I, I sort of knew instinctively yes. that he must be, yes. um, but I don't want to force him to say it, uh -huh. um, but it did come out emotional things yeah. came between us and um, I wasn't interested in that with him. Yeah. And so it came a point where we agreed to not to see each other again. Yeah. Alec was already around at that time. Yeah. And uh, as soon as I disappeared off the scene, Alec stepped in. <laughs> <laughs> It's very it's funny because I compared notes with, with Alec yes. quite recently on that. Yes. And it was only about two weeks after I decided not to see Colm again. Is this going to go in the book? That's going to be... Uh, I don't know. Well. It's up to, up to Peter. Uh -huh. He's got the info. Yes. Um, uh, yes, Alec dates his, uh, his relationship with Colm within two weeks after oh, right. I decided not to see him again. So, uh, so, so I didn't know that until recently. It's good that you're all friends anyway. Yes, oh yeah. I've known Colm, um, I've known Alec, I think for two years by that time. Yes. Uh, well, thanks very much for that anyway. It's okay. Good. So do you follow Cornelius's work as well? Yeah, I've got three of his. <laughs> so I'm just looking for maybe a fourth. <laughs> so what do you like about his work? Well, they're very distinctive. You can recognise them straight away, more or less. So yeah. That's what I like of his. He's, he's got quality I don't think nobody else has. So. They can be quite abstract, they've been quite real, and I like the colours, they're nice and muted, they're not too much, they're easy to match into your, your surroundings. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's all from the Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Yes, exactly. 
When I mention this to Andrew, he said, I don't know if you know, for a while. Andrew, you have a few Yeah. Oh, congratulations on another good show. So, so you've been involved in it on for quite a few years, haven't you? Or yes, I've been coming here for about 15 years to most of his exhibitions. Yes, <laughs> that's like that. timing. Yes, nice timing. And um, who is it? It's just, uh, and I've been, I've quite enjoyed all of them. And there's quite a selection of artists have been here over the years. So it's What's been your name? Quite, Damien. I'm Damien. I come, yes, uh -huh. I've quite enjoyed coming to all these exhibitions over the years. So what sort of art do you like? I like um, most that comes in. Frajkovic and McCarthy, and I like all art, especially um, 17th century yes. and 18th century art. Uh -huh. I like a lot of the continental artists, and British artists. Yeah. I, a wide selection of art, really. I'm not into the postmodernist. What's in the Thatcher Gallery? I'm not into that, but I like the 50s, 60s modern art, and I like most art, really. Right. So, um, how long have you been coming here since the start? Well, I've been uh, to most of them since the since they opened. I think I missed the first two. Yes. And I've been to most of them ever since. Uh -huh. You know. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. He's got a suntan this time as well. Hello. Hello, Thank you. Thank you. How about you show me? Thank you. Congratulations on another good show. Cheers. So you've been involved in a dance art for quite a few years, haven't you? Yes, I've been coming here for about 15 years to most of his exhibitions. Yes. That's timing. Yes, nice timing. And then, who is it? It's just, uh, and I've, been, I've quite enjoyed all of them, and there's quite a selection of artists have been here over the years. So it's What's your name? Damien, I'm Damien. I come, yes. Uh -huh. I've quite enjoyed coming to all these exhibitions over the years. So what sort of art do you like? I like... Um, Most that comes in. Frajkovic and McCarthy, and I like all art, especially um, 17th century yes. and 18th century art. Uh -huh. I like a lot of the continental artists and British artists. Yeah. I, a wide selection of art, really. I'm not into the postmodernist. What's in the Thatcher Gallery? I'm not into that. But I like the 50s, 60s modern art, and I like most art, really. Right. So, um, how long have you been coming here since the start? Well, I've been uh, to most of them since the since the open. I think I missed the first two. Yes. And I've been to most of them ever since. Uh -huh. You know. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. He's got a suntan this time as well. Hello. Hello, mate. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you.